Hello and welcome back to my channel. I am Pamela, realtor and vintage handbag lover. Today I have four unboxings for you. These are going to be true unboxings. Um, they are all Dooney and Burke, Dooney and Bork, however you want to pronounce it. Two of the bags are vintage bags and the other two are brand new. So I'm hoping that uh, these bags turn out all right. I'm hoping there are no surprises. Um, so without uh, rambling on, let's get into it. Oh, and happy belated Mother's Day to you all. And I hope you had a wonderful uh, Mother's, Mother's Day, um, if it applies to you. Anyway, let's, let's get started. So this first one, box, unboxing, I got this one from Poshmark. Um, I was doing some late night, up, middle of the night kinds of stuff. And... Um, so I was looking for some handbags, looking for vintage Dooney. And this one came up and the price was reasonable because, you know, sometimes on Poshmark, um, the prices can be a little outrageous. I'm going to move this microphone around. I don't want it to be um, catching all the sounds of the boxes. But anyway, so let me just get into this box and see what we got going on here. So, so far, so good. Okay. A little thank you card from the seller. I don't remember who the seller is, but um, anyway, I said, well, it looked pretty decent. So let me see what it looks like. And all of these are Dooney and Burke all weather leather handbags. So every the new ones and the vintage ones. So it says, uh, Pamela, thank you for your purchase of this beautiful, authentic vintage Dooney and Burke bag. I hope you love it. As much as I do, Jessica. Okay, thank you, Jessica. Yeah, here's the card from Jessica. So let's get into it, shall we? <laughs> let's see what we got. <laughs> oh, okay. Okay, got a lot of little popcorn stuff around. Wait a minute, let me see if I can show it to you guys while it's in the box. Let's see. Okay. Okay, okay. Oh, okay. Well, I'll take it out because it's a lot of this little stuff right here. And I don't want it to get all over the floor. I want to keep it in the box so when I toss it, I can just toss the whole thing. Kitten caboodle. Kitten caboodle. Okay, so this is it. It's a Dooney and Burke crossbody um, vintage bag. And it does say all weather leather there. I don't know if you guys can see that. So far, so good. Here are the sides of the bag and the little medallion thing. Okay, looks good, looks great. Inside, it looks nice and clean inside. Okay, it is very nice. Okay, there's some, uh, we got some trouble. We got some trouble. Here's some red marks on here that I did not see. See that? I don't know if you guys can see it. See that red? I don't know what that is. Um, I can see if I can get it off. It looks like it might have just peeled. But I mean, you know, it's a vintage bag. So, you know, you expect little surprises or whatnot. Um, it's got some oxidation. You know, I'll have to do a little bit of cleaning. And it's got the tag in there. So, I know it's authentic. So I'm not worried about that. Um, I probably have to do a little cleaning to it, which, you know, okay. But there are no rips and tears, just that little red stuff right there. It doesn't appear to be ink. It's almost like it peeled off a little bit. So I'll just give it a, a cleaning with some products. I'll um, And the bottom is good. I mean, everything looks good. I'll just clean it with some of my leather products and... And she'll be okay. The strap is good. It's decent. I can crossbody it if I want. There's plenty of room to do that. Should I decide to crossbody it, it would look really nice. Okay, so I I give it a I give this one a B. I give it a B. Okay, this is a B. Okay, not too bad. Not too you know not too shabby. So let's get into the next one. Okay, 
All right, so this one I bought from my eBay seller. I have, I've purchased like numerous bags from this seller. She usually sells vintage Gucci and um, it's called Purse in Paradise. And she really just has beautiful merchandise. And when I saw this one, it still had the tag on it and it's a vintage Juni and Bork crossbody it looks like it might be the same as this one but it's a different color it's kind of red so let me get into it ooh 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 okay so this is kind of hard to get into I might have to ooh ooh I should have opened this one up prior to put, come, putting on the video okay Pam come on now get your mama strength going and Y'all hold on. I'm tussling with this bad boy. This is one of those post office boxes. You know the kind. So, ugh, ugh. Okay, she got it really... Ugh. I dropped the scissors. So she's got it really, really, really nice and tight. Okay, here we go. Here we go. I don't want to cut my hand. Oh, here we go. All right. All right, now I want to see what's in here. Okay. <laughs> We're almost there, guys. Okay, so she packed it. Girl, the CIA couldn't get in this box. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Woohoo! All righty, there we go. Now, we got some more work to do. I went to the gym this morning, so I didn't know I was going to have another workout, but it looks like I'm having another one. And she got this thing sealed tight, but that's how she is, man. You, you get your stuff from her, and Purse in Paradise, that's the name of her shop, and she's on eBay. So, oh my gosh. Y'all see my muscles? Ooh. <laughs> oh my oh okay so it's not it's like an orangey I think it's an orange I don't want to cut the leather cut the leather that's why I was trying to tear it open but let me just let, me just, let myself to make it light on yourself girl make it light on yourself okay here we go Oh my, I like what I see already. Look at her. Oh wow. I probably have to come back later and do like a comparison video. But we got all these boxes to go through. I got two more and these are, the next two are new. And you know how Dooney and Fork package their boxes. Their pan bags have all kind of stuff on. Oh my God. Oh my word. Oh, yes, this is beautiful and it is. Oh yes. Look at there. Now she is gorgeous. Um, there's the tag, just like she said. Yeah, tag on there. And this is an all weather leather. So whoever had this did not wear it at all. What was that? That's it. Oh, my mark. So whoever had this did not wear it. Okay, so here are the actual tags. Okay, so these are the vintage. Dear customer, please refer, please refer to these letters if you have any questions or complaints regarding the quality or packaging of the enclosed bag. Inspected by, okay, Elsa. Elsa inspected this bag, wow. Okay. Okay, so this originally, okay. So this is the tag. Okay, so this is really nice. Look at that. Look at that. The inside is nice and clean. So it's almost the same setup as this one, but this one is a little bit bigger than this one, but they're about the same and they're both very nice. This one is a B because it has a little red stuff in there, but it's still very nice bag to be vintage. 
And this one too is really, this is excellent. This is an A plus, triple A right here. This baby right here, yeah. Okay, she's got the little thing there. And this one has a uh, front flap. The other one did not. This one does not have a opening in the front, but this one does, has the front flap. It's really pretty. It's like a reddish, but it's not really reddish reddish. It's like a orangey kind of reddish color. And it's gorgeous. It really is. And there's the tag. Same place like the other one. Okay. Okay. And on the inside, it looks the same. It has a zipper enclosure here. The other one did too. It has a zipper enclosure. And then it has... Um, yeah, a pocket here. So I'm going to have to make sure I go. I've probably already rated her. Just a couple of little dings right here. But other than that, it's it's a triple A. It's an A. All right. I am well pleased with my vintage bags. My vintage Dooney and Burke. So let's move on to the new bags. So I hope a sister don't have to get upset. Because these are brand new bags. And these are brand new all weather leather bags their new collection or reinvented or whatever and these bags was not cheap well i mean they were much more than the two vintage ones that i just showed you um by a long shot <laughs> so all right this is the first one i'm gonna open up and i better be happy because guess what It'll be on the first train smoking right back to do me and board. Right back to them. Oh, y'all remember that um, Burberry I bought uh, from Fashion File? Uh, it, I, it was, I called it a bag. I bought the strap because the bag was so small, but I paid for the strap. Anyway, I sent her back. They made an offer. They wanted to buy her back. I think I went, I, yeah, I did the next day. I boxed that bad boy up and sent it back and got my money. Got a good amount of my money back. Not all of it, but yeah, that was that was a bust right there. Okay, so let's see. All right, Dooney and Borko, let me have to talk about you. Oh, you better be. Oh, you better work it, girl. Okay. Okay, so this is the satchel. And this is number 47 of 120. And it looks like it's brand new. The packaging looks like it has not been disturbed. Yes. So we're going to give a thumbs up so far. Because this bag was not cheap. And you know they had a sale, but of course these weren't on sale. These are, this is their all-weather collection. Okay. Let me take it out. Okay. Take it. Let me have a look at her. Okay. Oh, it's much softer than I thought. Okay. Wow. Okay. She looks good. She looks good. Doesn't look like this was a return. I have a little concern about this right here, though. That right there. I don't know what happened. I might have to send her back. I don't think I like that. Oh, and I see a ding right there. So, yeah, she's going back. Yeah, she's going back. There's a ding or something right there. I'm not happy about that. No. No. But I don't think she was a, um, can't look on the inside. Looks like she's packed. Maybe that's just the, well, it's not too bad. Everything else is covered up. So I, I know she was not a return. Everything still has like the plastic on it and on the inside. So let me just, let me just take that off. Take that off. Open her up. A little bit could have been the packaging okay so I did get a dust bag okay 
And I did get, okay, so it's an extra strap. That's all wrapped in. So no, it's not. It's a brand new one. Okay. And let's see how she looks on the inside. I'm going to take all this out right here. Okay, she got all these little packs of stuff. I have to clean that up later. Man, this is a lot of stuff. Mm, I should have bought a trash bag. Put it in here. Anyway. I'll get one from upstairs. Okay. All right. So, yeah. She's looking good. Something came off. I don't know what that... Oh, it came off of this. Okay. That was part of that. Okay. So, so far, so good. The strap is all wrapped. And I got the little... I guess I can register her. And the stickers in place in there as well. Okay. What else does she come with? Oh. A little shipping label. Got my address on that. So I put that back there. And this little card right here. Okay. Alright, I'll put that there. So yeah, so she's nice. She's nice. But for some reason I thought she would be would feel stiffer, but she's really like plush soft leather. So I'm I'm yeah, that that really surprises me. She doesn't feel stiff, but she she feels really good. And I am pleased overall. So I give her I give her an A plus as well. I give her an A plus as well. Yeah, that'll probably just wear out with time or whatever. This little wrinkle right here. So, I give it an A plus. An a plus. Yeah, so I'm happy with this one. And this is the color. This color is like the greenish color. Don't, this is green. It's the green. So, let me put her up. It's the all-weather leather. And I wanted a handbag, like an everyday handbag. And this can definitely serve the purpose. She has feet on the bottom. Of course, the other two smaller crossbodies didn't have feet on the bottom. What's in here? I feel like something else is in here. Oh, okay. Oh, that's just a strap. So I'll I'll take her apart a little later once I once I'm finished. Boy, I got lots of stuff in front of me, guys. Okay, let me just put this over here. All right, let's get to the next. This is the last unboxing. And this is also a Dooney and Bork all-weather leather. And I didn't get the um, other satchel, you know, the one that has the braided handles and has the... Um, has the tassels because I have two Florentine handbags like that so I, I didn't get that one so I said well I'll get the other one okay so this one looks okay this one looks like it's brand new as well got my shipping receipt so I'll put that there I pull it out of the box okay now this this is the drawstring 25 and she does look nice Yes. Okay. Tags are in place. Okay. I am happy. I am pulling her out. Yes. Yes. What is she? She is trying to find out what number what number she is. She is number 100 out of 120. Wow. Okay. So this is really nice. Feet on the bottom. So, you know, I might go back and get that um, satchel because I like the way these feel. They're soft. For some reason, I just, in my mind, I thought it was going to be real structured. I mean, they're structured, but just real. The leather, I thought it was going to be stiffer, but it's not. It's buttery soft. Very nice. Very nice. And so she has the drawstring right here. I pulled that, just pulled that off. And inside, you just get inside. 
take all of this stuff in now. I'll take the plastic and stuff off. I think I'm going to get into her today. I am. I'm going to get into her today. I was in my, I'm in my Coach Dempsey, but I think I'm going to switch up. And I'm going to get into her today because I wanted to get a bag that I could carry year round. And I can definitely carry this year round. Oh, this is really nice. I think I like this one better than I like the, uh, well, I like them both. But I think I like this one better than I like the satchel. Yeah, this is nice. Let me put that there. I have a dust bag as well. Okay. Oh, inside is really nice. There's like, I still got paper in there, but there's like the little zipper pocket on the inside. And the handle is nice. Oh, this is, yeah, she, she's going out with me today. I'm really pleased with her. She's going today. Yeah. Yeah, she'll be she'll be traveling with me today. Yeah. I got to go to choir rehearsal this evening. So I'm just going to set this set this on the bench next to me. Oh, la, 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 la. We getting ready for Women's Day. So I'm going to just follow a lot my little doonies. I see it, don't you? <laughs> now this is I like this. I am so out of all of them, I think I like this one. I like my two vintage bags. I think they both are great. This, I like this one, but where's that little funky looking corner? But this is, I mean, I don't know if I should send this back because of that. I think I'm gonna send it back. I think this one's going back. Cause I'm just, you know, I would, at this amount of money, you know, I'm looking at perfection, you know, if it's a vintage bag, then, you know, okay, you know, but these are not, these are brand new bags and that that's funky right there. So she going back, she going to have to go back. Cause I can't, mm -mm, I can't, I spent a lot of money on her. So she, she going to have to go back. I just can't, I can't do it. I mean, you know, but now she, She going out today. <laughs> well, I hope you all enjoyed my um, unboxings and uh, stay safe. That's all I have for you today. And I'll try to, um, I didn't want this video. It's 22 minutes long. But anyway, you guys stay safe and I'll see you guys next time around. Bye-bye. And let me know in the comment sections if you think I should send that uh, satchel back and, and get another one. Okay. Thank you. Let me know. Bye.